Jordan Spieth won the Masters and the U.S. Open Championship at age 21. He finished top four in the remaining major tournaments that followed. At 28, Jordan Spieth has 13 PGA Tour victories, two international victories, and one additional victory. He's ranked the 10th best golfer in the world and is aiming for the top spot. Spieth went through a rough patch in his career. He kept missing cuts, and his performance dropped. Spieth's career might have stalled if not for a piece of timely advice from the legendary Jack Nicholas. What do golf legends really think about Jordan Spieth? Well, let's find out. Rory McIlroy Jordan Spieth is one of the best ball strikers, a tremendous putter, and a three-time major winner. Even with all these achievements, Rory McIlroy thinks Jordan is underrated as a golfer. Here's what Rory had to say about Jordan. I had a chat with Brant Snedeker last night, and we both said it. Jordan Spieth is the most underrated player in the game. When you look at what he's done and what he's achieved, but all you hear are negatives. Rory McIlroy, who has spent over 100 weeks as number one on the official world golf ranking, says that people only look at the skills Spieth doesn't have. For his age, Spieth is outstanding. He's no Tiger Woods, but he has kept pace with Rory McIlroy for the most part, and is on an equal footing with Phil Mickelson when it comes to career wins per tournament played. Nick Faldo Did you know what the name Spieth means? Let's see what golf legend Nick Faldo has to say about Jordan Spieth. The legendary Nick Faldo notes that Jordan isn't one to rush, even though Spieth means speedy and successful. During the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship, Spieth was given a slow play penalty under the European Tour's initiative to pick up the pace. While playing at Augusta National with Paul Casey and Bryson DeChambeau, Spieth's team was officially put on the clock, so they would be forced to pick up the pace. Nick Faldo says, Jordan Spieth, for all his upside, does seem to have a tendency to dawdle. He doesn't like to be rushed, does he? Spieth was waiting for the wind to die down during one of his rounds before he made his shot. Faldo said, he wanted to wait for the gusts on the top of the hill. You can't do that. You've got to crack on and take what you get. Faldo wasn't making things up when he said Spieth's name meant speed. According to Ancestry.com, Spieth is a nickname from the Middle High German language, which means successful, speedy. However, Nick Faldo believes Jordan is capable of doing the unexpected. He said that he was talking so much about handling the intensity and everything Jordan wasn't doing right to see the talent he possessed. To Nick, Jordan is one of the best of his era. Lee Trevino According to Lee Trevino, Jordan Spieth is the most dangerous guy in the PGA Championship field and a good bet to complete his career slam. The golf legend said, Actually, he is going to be the most dangerous guy out there because he's fresh off a major championship and he's oozing with confidence. I think it's easier. It was for me, and I don't think it will be any different for him. Lee likes Jordan's odds of winning more Masters. Trevino told The News that he thinks he and Jordan Spieth are of a similar mold. He said Spieth is not a silver spoon guy. He sees parallels in what he did in 1971 and what Spieth is trying to achieve in his career. Tiger Woods Woods is the reason why many people started liking golf as a sport. Tiger's impact on the sport is legendary, and his records and achievements are sky high. Woods respects how Spieth plays, and that's saying something. When talking about Spieth, Woods said, He's a more athletic Jim Furyk. His comparison of Spieth and Furyk does an excellent job of explaining why Spieth is so good. Furyk has a swing like no other. Spieth's swing is also unconventional, but it's not on the same level as Furyk's. Jim Furyk ended his career with one major win, the U.S. Open in 2003. His swing came with a weakness, a lack of distance that prevented him from winning more championships. Tiger Woods sees positive qualities in Spieth, with the compliment of Jordan being more athletic than Jim Furyk. This means that Furyk's biggest weakness would not be an issue for Spieth. Tiger thinks Spieth can play long and accurate shots, making him a fierce competitor. Gary Player Gary Player was giving tips and tricks about the lob shot when he revealed who he thinks plays the best flop shot on tour. Jordan Spieth is his pick. Jordan played an insanely unbelievable shot of the same kind at the 2020 Ryder Cup. Jordan's ball was in a tight spot. He had to hit the ball, which was lying on a steep embankment with water on one side. He lifted the ball in a spectacular shot, getting it to land on the green very close to the hole. Gary is a 24-time winner on the PGA Tour, 
and he is very confident that for these special kinds of shots, Jordan Spieth is the best on tour. This is a testament to Jordan's golfing talents, a claim that is quite hard to disagree with, coming from one of the best golfers of all time. Jack Nicklaus At Jordan's age, Jack Nicklaus already had 27 PGA Tour victories. Spieth has done pretty well for himself. He became the second youngest player to tally 10 PGA Tour wins with the Travelers title. The position was formally held by Nicholas before Jordan took it. Here's what he has to say about Jordan Spieth. Spieth regularly attends Nicholas's memorial tournament, giving Jack a chance to analyze his game. Nicholas said, He's not the best ball striker on tour, but he knows how to play, and he knows how to make a lot of dumb mistakes. He's way beyond his years in development, and to top it all off, he's a really nice kid. Nicholas's remark about Jordan was all positive, he said. Four or five years from now, we'll find out just how good he's going to get, because he's going to be a force to reckon with, all the time. I only see him getting better. Jack Nicholas won his first major in 1962. He won the U.S. Open at Oakmont Country Club in Pennsylvania at age 22. At that age, Spieth was the youngest player to win two majors since Gene Sarazen in 1922. With an extensive record of wins, Nicholas has found his first major win significant in many ways. Jack said this about Jordan. He has a great short game, as I'm sure everybody realizes. I think he has some room for improvement in other parts of his game. But we all have room for improvement. He's a gallery favorite because he deserves to be a gallery favorite. When Jordan was experiencing a drop in form, Nicholas appeared on a show and was asked to talk about Spieth's troubles. Nicholas said, I'm not worried about him to start with. I like Jordan a lot. He's a great kid. However, he revealed that when he was at Augusta, he told Jordan that he wouldn't want to stick his nose in someone else's business. But he hates to see Jordan struggling, and if Jordan wanted his input, he'd be delighted. About five or six weeks after that encounter, Jordan walked up to Nicholas and sought his advice. Jordan told the golf legend, You know what we were talking about at Augusta? Tell me what you were thinking. So I told him, and he said, That's exactly what I'm working on. So I told him he's working on the right thing. Spieth had been trying to alter his swing, so his form dropped. Nicholas advised Spieth to exercise patience, because changing his swing was no easy task. Spieth took Nicholas's words to heart. Instead of worrying about his overall game, he focused on the specific area of his game that needed improvement. Nicholas reassured fans about Jordan. He said, he'll get it. He works at it. He loves the game. He's patient. He's got a lot more majors in him. He's going to win a lot more golf tournaments, and I love his demeanor. Jack Nicholas couldn't have been more right. After Spieth got back into the winner's circle by taking down Patrick Cantlay in a playoff to win the RBC Heritage, Jack congratulated Spieth on his win and on becoming a father. The golf legend said, My congratulations to Jordan Spieth on winning the RBC Heritage at Harbortown Golf Links, Nicholas tweeted. I'm sure you're happy to not only be back in the winner's circle, but to get your first win as a father. This will be a day your family can look back on and enjoy for years to come. What do you think about Jordan Spieth? Do you think he's worth all the praises? Leave a comment below with your opinion. Be sure to check out Golf Plus for more fantastic golf videos. See you there.